Namaste children, I am Mausmi, your science teacher. Hope you all are well. Today we are going to learn about measurement. So what is measurement? Measurement is comparison of any unknown quantity with a known fixed quantity. That means, let take an example, you have a small stick. So with that help of that stick, you can measure a length of a table. So that the length of the table will give you how much how much the sticks that means how many times the sticks will cover the length of the table so what we can measure we can measure any physical quantity physical quantity is the property of an object that can be qualified or measured so some physical quantities are there they are independent we should not derive that physical quantity with the help of other quantity these are called fundamental quantities there are seven fundamental quantities are there which are length mass time temperature electric current amount of substance and luminous intensity so these seven fundamental quantities never take the help of other quantities to derive it if we take other quantities like speed, velocity, momentum, these all need some two or three fundamental quantities to derive it. That's why they are called derived quantities. So when we are taking quantities, measuring it, we have to write the unit. So what is the unit? Unit is a fixed quantity that is used as a standard for measuring physical quantities. So let us take an example. I asked you how long did you read? So here you gave me the answer 50. So in that 50 you didn't say anything. So how what I should understand 50 minutes, 50 hours or 50 seconds. So that means how much this unit is important. So what we will write when we are measuring the any <coughs> physical quantities we will write one number with that we will write the unit that unit is most important it will give you the exact uh, explanation of that physical quantities <coughs> so earlier scientists were using so many different measuring unit system so these are there are three these are fps that is british unit then scgs and mks so these all so what this APS, CGS and MK stands for? So this is are basically uh, made up of three fundamental quantities, length, mass and time. So this is the uh, full uh, abbreviation of APS, CGS and MK. APS foot, pound, seconds, CGS centimeter, gram, seconds, MK meter, kilogram and seconds. But these three, it was little bit complicated, so standardly, all the scientists and every uh, thing they decided uh, to take one standard unit that is SI system of unit. So this SI system of uh, unit which is at present an internationally acceptance for measurement. So the fundamental quantities in SI units are like this length we will write a uh, unit is meter we will write the symbol m mass kilogram we are using kg time seconds is current ampere capital a temperature kelvin capital k luminous intensity candela cd and amount of substances mole mol so what are the importance why they are taking si units as a standard unit as it is uh, uh, conversion between this uh, uh, decimal system it's very easy for the length and mass and it is uh, widely used for in scientific field technical field or commercial work so that's why si unit is <laughs> internationally accepted and it is important and si unit you will use everywhere when you will write the uh, units like um, speed velocity force momentum everything so maximum place we will use si units i hope you all understood this lesson if you have any doubt you can ask through the whatsapp now i have asking some question uh, you should neatly write this all question in your uh, notebook and send it to the whatsapp group thank you children